Audi Active Sphere. The Audi Active Sphere is a concept car that combines the best of both worlds, a sleek and sporty coupe that can transform into a practical and adventurous pickup. It is powered by an electric drive system that offers zero emission mobility, fast charging, and a long range. It also features an innovative augmented reality system that replaces conventional screens and controls with immersive and interactive projections. The Active Sphere can switch between manual and autonomous driving modes, allowing the driver to enjoy the thrill of driving or relax in the spacious and luxurious cabin. The Active Sphere is the ultimate crossover vehicle for the future, designed to adapt to any lifestyle and terrain. It is the fourth and final model in the Sphere series of concept cars from Audi, showcasing the brand's vision for the premium mobility of the future. Plectrum. See what the creative minds at Lazzarini have been up to. Those of you who have been following us for a while may recall their incredible creations from earlier films. With their proposal for a hydrogen-powered superyacht that can generate 15,000 horsepower, the Italians got off to a roaring start in 2023. The 74-meter-long luxury yacht can travel at speeds of up to 139 kilometers per hour thanks to its carbon fiber hull and movable hydrofoils. You may relax in one of the seven comfortable cabins or enjoy the ship's four decks, swimming pool, helipad, and other facilities when you're not out conquering the seas. In case anyone is interested in actually implementing the idea, it will cost roughly $85 million to do so. Citroën Autonomous Mobility Vision Citroën's Autonomous Mobility Vision strategy anticipates future urban mobility needs, utilizing technology to improve user well-being, the environment, and traffic conditions. This open-source autonomous concept intends to make city traffic flow creatively and give consumers a relaxing experience where they may let go. Citroën Skates, a fleet of autonomous robots, will run in designated lanes, seamlessly integrated into the urban landscape optimizing city traffic. Skates help service company capsules move across their platform. Users can read a book, view a movie, listen to music while drinking, or play sports on the go 24 7 A shared standalone solution offers many benefits. Since it is electric, multi-use, and cheaper than an autonomous vehicle, it reduces congestion in large cities and their carbon footprint. Renault EZ Pro Robo The Renault EZ Pro Robo is a concept vehicle designed to completely change the way that packages are delivered in cities. It is an autonomous, electric, modular and networked platform with two pod types, a leader pod and a robo pod. An actual concierge manages the delivery in the robo pods under the watchful eye of the leader pod. The robo pods can either stay in close proximity to the lead pod or go off on their own. Pods can be outfitted to transport a wide variety of goods and services. The consumers have the option to decide where, when, and how their packages will be delivered. Renault EZ Pro Robo is designed to merge into the cityscape and reduce traffic congestion and pollution. It is a collaborative, adaptable, and rapid answer to the problems faced by businesses and individuals in the final leg of the supply chain. The Mukab. Mukab's presentation of its cube-shaped skyscraper begins with the metaphor of a portal to another dimension. By 2030, it is expected to be Riyadh's new skyline, the capital city of Saudi Arabia. Each side of the tower will be 400 meters in length, making the entire project extremely ambitious. Are you familiar with New York City's Empire State Building? The good news is that 20 of them will fit within this cube. It's like another city inside of another city. A shopping mall, hotel, movie theater, office building, museum, and possibly an opera house are all on the agenda. There will be nothing for the guests and locals to do that will bore them. The spiral tower inside the cube will be the most notable feature, extremely fashionable and astronomically costly. The total cost of building the cube skyscraper and surrounding region is estimated to reach $48 billion. 
MG Maze. With 3 billion gamers on the planet by 2021, wouldn't it be awesome to have a vehicle designed just for them? This concept is the ultimate fantasy for any gaming enthusiast. The exterior looks like a cutting-edge computer, while the interior lets you immerse yourself in any game. A massive projection display helps you discover all the hidden secrets in your favorite world. And not only that, but you can also customize the light elements on the car body with your achievements. You can control the vehicle with your smartphone and enjoy the city scenery through the panoramic view while you take a break or wait for an update. As buildings reach new heights, like the 830 meter and 163 floor Burj Khalifa in Dubai, it's time to rethink how we travel in such colossal structures. Nissan Max-Out EV The Nissan Max-Out EV is a futuristic convertible that combines retro style with cutting-edge technology. It is a car that lets you enjoy the open air and the thrill of driving, while being eco-friendly and innovative. The Max-Out EV has a sleek and low body that enhances aerodynamics and performance. It is powered by an E4 ORCE dual-motor EV system that delivers dynamic cornering and steering response. The Max Out EV also features psychedelic interactive wheel caps, a floating dashboard, a light up steering wheel, and a digital display screen that spans from pillar to pillar. The car is designed to create a sense of unity between the driver and the vehicle, as well as between the vehicle and the environment. The Max Out EV is a showcase of Nissan's vision for the future of sustainable mobility and design. VW Hover Car. Volkswagen's concept hover car is a flying car from the future. It's a sleek and tiny two-seater that the driver or the car itself can operate. It is able to levitate and move along electromagnetic road networks, allowing it to avoid traffic congestion and crashes. It's also a car that doesn't pollute the air in any way, shape or form. Volkswagen's People's Car Project solicited ideas from the public to create the VW hover car a concept car intended to spark interest among Chinese buyers and fulfill their automotive fantasies. The VW hover car is more than just a car. It's a concept for a whole new mode of transportation. Essentially, it's an automobile that can float like a bubble and soar through the air like a bird. You'll have a blast behind the wheel of this vehicle. It's a car that feels like it was made for ordinary folks. Mubea U-Mobility Mubea U-Mobility is a new way of moving in the city. It is a company that creates innovative and sustainable micro-mobility products that are inspired by the automotive industry. Mubea U-Mobility offers two types of vehicles, the cargo and the export. The cargo is a four-wheeled pedelec that is designed for last-mile logistics. It is robust, ergonomic, and has a large load volume and payload. It can be used for parcel delivery, campus logistics, advertising, or service. It also has different superstructures available to suit different needs. The export is a surfboard for the last mile. It is a foldable electric scooter that can be carried or stored easily. It has a sleek design, a powerful motor, and a smart display. It is ideal for urban commuters who want to have fun and convenience. Mubea U Mobility is changing the way you move. It is not just a product, but a lifestyle. It is a way of being eco-friendly, efficient, and comfortable. It is a way of rethinking mobility. Climb-E. Climb-E is a vision of the future that integrates horizontal and upward motion into a single fluid system. It's a portable dwelling that also functions as a personal car and an office on the go. It is adaptable to the built environment and can use elevators to get to different floors. It is designed by Ital Design, Schindler, and Politecnico di Torino. Climb E is battery operated, may be stacked, and operates independently. It's large on the inside, with enough room for two couches and other furnishings. In order to convey information to pedestrians or other users, it can project messages onto the ground or into the windows. This plan offers a visionary but practical approach to urban sustainability and transportation. Door to door service is one of Climb E's primary goals. The company also cares deeply about reducing its environmental impact.
Biopod, raise the stakes, and let's drive on the moon instead of the roads on our Earth. After all, these greenhouse pods are going to be transported there in accordance with the plan. This will be the first year that plants start to grow in test mode on Earth, and by 2027, they should have reached the moon. The length, width, and height of the greenhouse are 11 meters, 6 meters, and 5 meters respectively. They won't require soil because the system will employ advanced hydroponics to grow their plants instead. The required levels of humidity, temperature, and any other factors will be provided by a control system that is entirely autonomous and which takes into consideration the preferences of all of the plants. NASA has expressed interest in the pods and the people who created them believe that people here on Earth will also find them useful 